Harbor Freight is a great place to get some inexpensive items to detail your cars. In fact, I've made quite a few videos highlighting new items that come up at Harbor Freight, but in this video, I wanna give you the full detailer's guide to the items that you can use at your local Harbor Freight all in one. And I'm gonna have everything time-coded for you guys down below, so if you don't care about the vacuum section and you wanna know more about pressure washers, you can just skip right ahead. So to start off, I'm gonna walk towards the back of my local store, right to where the car detailing supplies are. The mostly chemicals, microfiber towels, all that kind of good stuff. So we're we're gonna start off with the chemicals and then build around that going into the tools and accessories that you need. Now, Harbor Freight carries a good selection of the Meguiar's Professional line, which I like a lot. Now, depending on the Harbor Freight store near you, there may be a couple of different options here, right? My local store typically has three options for your car wash soap. Number one is going to be Meguiar's Hyper Wash. Number two is gonna be Meguiar's Gold Class Car Wash Soap. And finally, number three is going to be Meguiar's, I think it's called their Ultimate Wash and Wax. Now I personally don't use a wash and wax 99% of the time. I just don't want any protection in my soap. I just want it to clean. So I would go with either Hyper Wash or Gold Class. Both are fantastic options, but uh, Price-wise, Gold Class is hard to beat. Comes in a 64 ounce bottle for, I don't know, $12.99 or something like that. Um, fantastic choice. It foams well enough. It does a decent job cleaning and it is nice and slick under your wash mat, which helps to keep your paint safe. And with that, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Keeping Us Safe Online, NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it allows you to have actual privacy when you're online keeping you safer. Even your internet service provider, the person you get your internet from, will actually sell your browsing information to online marketers. For me, there's nothing worse when you are doing some searches and then a couple days later you come back and then there's a bunch of ads for that thing. Especially, it happened to me once where it was my wife's birthday. I was doing some research, trying to find something cool to get her and luckily she did not go onto the computer and see that, but if she did, all those ads would have been right there and she you know, could have ruined the surprise. NordVPN is offering a special deal where you sign up for a two year commitment and you get an additional four months for free. Just head over to nordvpn.com forward slash I'm Josh V to get that exclusive deal. Now, as you guys know, I upload a lot of videos to YouTube and sometimes my home internet goes down and I have to go to a local Starbucks or something like that to use public Wi-Fi. And I can safely do that when I'm using NordVPN. They're able to protect your data by rerouting it through encrypted servers, which prevents third parties from spying on your online activity. So once again, thank you NordVPN for sponsoring today's video and make sure to click the link down in the description, nordvpn.com forward slash I'm Josh V to get an extra four months on a two year plan. Now let's get back to the video. Now additionally in that section, let's talk about wheel cleaners. And again, couple options here. We've got Meguiar's Hot Rims wheel and tire coming in at, I think it's a 24 ounce size for $6.99, which is a fantastic deal. Uh, great, great wheel cleaner here. It does a fantastic job. They also have Meguiar's Ultimate all wheel cleaner and that also works very, very well, but that one has an iron remover added into it. So it does have that color changing uh, as, as you spray it on, it starts to dissolve the iron uh, particles and things like that that are sitting on your wheel. Very, very common, especially when you're driving, you brake, you gotta think all that brake dust is all metal shavings and things like that. They're gonna sit on your wheel. This will help to, to dissolve those away. It is more expensive. Um, so for a deeper clean, I would go with Meguiar's Ultimate All Wheel. But if you want a, you know, a more cost effective version for your just your regular maintenance, then go with the uh, hot ring. Now, right in that same section, they also have some brushes here and brushes for your wheels. So you can agitate those uh, chemicals and get a nice clean. Now these brushes aren't the softest. They do have a flag tip. So if you look at the surface of it, um, the, the, the very ends of those fibers are split. Um, again, it, it'll get the job done, but I wouldn't use them with like the gloss black wheels and things like that. If it's a basic alloy wheel, just hit it, it's silver, no big deal. But just to note, it's not as soft as some others. Now the next item isn't something that you need to do all the time, but when you feel that contamination in your paint that doesn't come off from a wash, it's that embedded contamination that has kind of um, secured itself into the clear coat. You want to do a clay treatment to remove that. And for Harbor Freight, they have the Meguiar's little clay kit. Um, again. Fantastic press comes with three little clay bars. I think they're 240 gram clay bars, something like that. Um, they're a nice, uh, a gentle version, so you don't have to worry about damaging your paintwork too much. And it also comes with a bottle of their quick detailer and that you can use as a clay lubricant. Now when performing your wash process, obviously you need some accessories, right? You need a wash bucket, you need uh, some um, uh, wash mitts and things like that. Well, obviously Harbor Freight has their nice red buckets five gallon bucket works fantastic. They also have a dirt guard that you can put into the bucket so that it separates the dirt and contamination when you wipe off your vehicle, goes into the bucket, 
separates the dirt falls below so that you have your just you know more so a cleaner version of your soap and water to go reapply to the vehicle. Um, additionally, I also like to use, other than a wash mitt, and they do have the Grants, it's like a noodle fiber um, wash mitt, which feels nice. It does have a cuff. I don't like the cuff. I don't like to put my hand in it. I like to tuck the cuff inside and then use it like that. Um, but also they have the Grants microfiber towels, the 16 by 16 edgeless ones are great. They're an 80-20 blend um, and they do a fantastic job. So you can use that on pretty much any surface on your vehicle. If you're worried about your paint, if your paint work is very, very soft, you may want to go with a different towel, but I've used these on paint and hadn't had an issue. Additionally with those, you can use them as your wash media as well. So instead of a wash mitt, you can put those in a bucket and as soon as one you're using one and it starts to get too saturated, put it to the side and then in your bucket you'll have more of the towels. Just grab a brand new one. You're never reintroducing dirty water into that bucket. All right guys, now back to the wash process and like I said, you could do the bucket method but I love using a foam cannon and Harbor Freight has a decent one at a really, really good price. I've actually tested this in the video a long time ago when they first got this in. The thing does a decent job. You're gonna get a good amount of foam on the surface of your vehicle. Now it doesn't get as much foam as say the MJJCs, the MTMs, or the Griots. But again, if you're on a budget or you want a nice backup and you need something quick that you can just go pick up, Harbor Freight's an easy place to do that. Now to use that foam cannon though, we need to talk pressure washers because those do attach to your pressure washer gun. Now on the cheapest end of it, we have the Portland 1750. Now I originally covered this thing about three years ago and I was absolutely blown away by the performance of this thing. It got really, really good numbers, a lot better than I was expecting. But since then, I've come to find out that they actually have two different SKU numbers for this item. One of them is the one that works quite good. The other one still works good, it just didn't blow me away. I think they might be coming from two different factories, not entirely sure. But unfortunately, the ones that I'm seeing in stores now are the ones that just perform decently well, not the one that exceeded my expectations. Now the next one that they have is a 2000 PSI rated unit, and I was looking through my archives of videos I've done, and I apparently have never tested this thing, which actually surprised me quite a bit. So I don't have a lot to say about this one, but at a price of 199, it may be a good option for you. And then finally, they have the Bauer 2300 PSI 1.2 GPM rated electric pressure washer. Um, again, they have more options than this as well, but I'm just talking about the ones that I know about, the electric versions. Now this 2300 PSI unit out of the box works quite well. The numbers were very, very accurate. I think I was getting actually 2200 PSI out of the box and 1.125 GPM. So, and eventually those numbers will slightly raise as the motor and everything, uh, and the pumps and everything break in on the unit. So. I think the, the rating on that thing is accurate. However, when you're using this for car detailing, I personally like to drop my PSI and increase my GPM. And when you go to do that, you usually do it by manipulating the size of the orifice or the nozzle. And when you do that, this thing, the performance takes an absolute dive off of a cliff. So for me, um, as a car detailer and wanting to use it for cars, it's not my favorite choice, but around the house, I think it's a good unit because you're getting that high PSI, not the most flow, but around the house, it seems like PSI is usually what people want. Now, like I said, that the 1750 Portland unit, uh, the accessories on that one are pretty terrible. The Bowers are better, but still a pain in the butt to work with, so you're gonna wanna upgrade those, and Harbor Freight now has a ton of good options. Number one, their new Stubby, the short uh, version of their pressure washer gun, is fantastic. Incredible value, um, it's a good looking unit, it's robust, it has uh, quick connects on the front, quick connects on the rear, uh, a built-in swivel, and a built-in lock position, so you can actually lock it in the on position so you don't get fatigue in your hand. Most pressure washer guns do not have that. This one does, so it's a really, really good value. Now, they also came out with a new pressure washer hose, and I actually like it quite a bit. It's very, very kink resistant, lays nice and flat. It's great. Uh, the only downside about this thing that I have, and it's a significant one for me, 25 feet just isn't enough. I wish they had at least gone 35 feet because that I can work with. My preferred size is 50 feet and you can get a little adapter to put those two uh, hoses together. I'll link that down in the description for you guys as well. Um, but again, it's just my preference. I would probably still go with an Uberflex just because of the length. Other than that, the construction of the thing is fantastic. I think it's really good. And lastly, they also have these 17 inch extensions. One is straight, one has a bend to it, and these can go in your stubby pressure washer wand so you get more reach. Uh, also the one with the bend is nice when you're working on your car because it, uh, it forces all the, you know, the pressure downward. So if you're reaching up to do the roof, it's gonna continually be still, you're not gonna be shooting it over the car. You're still gonna be making impact with the paint.
Since we're talking about pressure washers, which would be rinsing off the vehicle, right? Let's now talk about drying off the vehicle. And Harbor Freight has a Grant's six square foot microfiber drying towel. Now this is a plush towel. Um, I prefer a twist loop style of drying towel. That's not this. So this saturate, gets saturated pretty quickly, but at the price, 10 bucks, it's a fantastic deal. And then from there, we can move on to the blowers. They have a bunch of different options for this. Um, now, when you go to the larger blowers, you can actually you know, get all the water off the vehicle's like big surfaces. Typically, I'm using a drying towel and then coming back with something to blow out the, the tight spots, your mirrors, all those areas where you get the drip. Um, for that stuff, they also have some smaller units. They have the Bauer and the Hercules. Uh, I think it's the Bauer is like a crazy price right now. I can't remember off the top of my head, but the video will show it here. Um, so any of those options are gonna do the job well for you. All right, now the car is all been prepped, cleaned and dried. Now it's time to polish your paint work if you're gonna be doing that. Harbor Freight is one of those places where you can get a absolute screaming deal on your polisher. Now they have everything from a battery powered rotary polisher, which I wouldn't recommend for the start, for the beginner. I'd like a dual action polisher, makes it much easier. And within the dual action range, we have the Hercules dual action, but it is a forced rotation, um, meaning it, it will wanna walk a little bit on you. You do have to control that one a little bit more. Or you have the Bauer version, they have their long throw version and their short throw version. I personally am gonna go with the long throw version. It's just my preference, I'm used to that now. I like that a lot. But the short throw version is also very, very useful, especially in certain circumstances. But again, when you talk about the price of these things, the long throw at like $79 and the short throw at like 65 bucks, it's hard to beat those options. They come with six inch backing plates. Again, my preferred is a five inch backing plate and you can update that. But if you stick with a six inch backing plate, they have all the pads there available to you as well. So you can get, uh, I think they have, let's see here, green, blue, and white, and yellow. Green, blue, white, and yellow, I think. Um, so depending on what kind of polishing or compounding you're doing, you just follow the guide on that. When we get into the compounds and polishes, again, they have the Meguiar's Professional line and they have Meguiar's M110 and M210. M110 being the, the compound, M210 being the polish, and I, I'm still using those to this day, guys. I've been detailing cars forever. Uh, these are updates to the original 105 and 205. These ones just don't dust quite as much. I love them. I am very, very familiar with what they're capable of, so that's why I still use them. Um, now, they also have the new Meguiar's, I think it's the M100, it's their Pro Speed compound or Pro Speed polish. Um, I've been toying around with that. They announced that last year at SEMA for Meguiar's, and I'm still, not decided on that yet. From what I've been using, it's still not, it, I wouldn't change from the 110 and 210 personally, but we'll do a follow-up video on that at some point. Now again, the Grant's microfiber towels, you can use that on your paint work, remove the, your compound polish, all that kind of good stuff. Now let's get into talking about some protection. And again, from Meguiar's, we have their ceramic spray detailer, or we have their ceramic wax in both forms. We have it in a little jar that you can use with a, uh, a machine if you wanted to app, uh, apply it with a pad, or they have the spray-on version, and the spray-on version you can even apply wet. It still works well with, uh, as, as a, you know, the, your vehicle's wet, spray it on and then rinse it off. It spreads around and does a good job that way. It's not the longest amount of protection, but it does do a fantastic job very, very easily. And the last thing on the interior is your glass work. Um, they sell some products from Invisible Glass that you could use on your windows. I personally just use water, but they do have waffle weave towels for your glass, um, microfiber towels for your glass. So those are a great option as well. Now, moving on to the interior of a vehicle, and this is an interesting space, right? They have a lot of stuff here that will work very, very well. Let's start off with vacuums. Now, they have quite a few uh, different options for vacuums. If you're gonna, I'm probably just gonna lean towards a corded option, and they have a nine gallon, four and a half peak horsepower option. Now, those numbers can be a little bit deceiving. Obviously, nine gallon is just the tank capacity, but the four and a half peak horsepower doesn't really communicate what the power of the unit is. I use a lot of the rigids that are five peak horsepower and then I've tested a bunch of them and you, when you test the actual water lift, completely different between different units. But as of just a general rule of thumb, that four and a half, five peak horsepower is kind of, it, again, there's not really any reason to trust that fully, but you know it's better than a two horsepower unit. So um, that's probably the one I would personally go with. There's other ones for, uh, that may be on sale. So just kind of, I like the size of the nine gallon, but whatever works will work for you. But regardless of which one you get, make sure to get their uh, hose accessory upgrade kit. You get a longer 
crush proof hose that is much, much nicer. You also get um, some accessories like a uh, long crevice tool that actually has a rubberized piece in the middle so it bends so you can get it under things. Really, really nice. I wouldn't go without that. That thing's coming in. It's very, very similar to the rigid one that's available at Home Depot. Very similar, except it's like 20 bucks cheaper. Now, keeping up with your interior, you may want to get a steam cleaner. They're a great option for cleaning up uh, spills, stains, all that kind of good stuff, sanitizing or getting an effective clean without using a bunch of chemical. And they have two options for you. They have the central machinery unit, and then they have the new, or newer, I apologize, Grant's little handheld steamer. Both of these things steam well. It's just on the central machinery one, you're gonna get a way longer work time because the tank capacity is significantly more. But I think the Grant's one's like 40 bucks and the other one's like 120 or somewhere around there. So just base it off what your needs are and what you feel comfortable for, uh, with on price. Now we're gonna start getting into some more random items and the stuff that you don't necessarily need, but are very, very helpful, like an air compressor. I've done a bunch of reviews on these different air compressors, comparing a bunch of different ones from different stores. And the one at Harbor Freight that I love is the 26 gallon. Yes, the 26 gallon, 175 PSI with a CFM rating of 4.5 at 90 PSI. I was a little confused because they have a 27 gallon tank one as well. They look the same, um, they're same price, but that one is much, much louder. So if you get the 26 gallon, it's extremely quiet and it's gonna give you all the power that you need. Now more miscellaneous items, we've got stools, we've got uh, ladders that you can use to reach uh, higher areas of the vehicle, we've got benches, um, and we have uh, detailing stools that can roll around. My favorite one, for sure, by far out of all the ones they have, is the Icon chair. Comes in a bunch of different colors, very, very comfortable. Has a, a tray on the bottom so you can store you know, some of your products there. And the wheels on that thing are big enough to where when you're rolling around, you're not getting caught up on everything. So that chair is very, very comfortable. You can raise it and lower it depending on what you're doing. I love it, I use it all the time when I'm doing my ceramic coating jobs. Now, of course, Harbor Freight also has their line of generators. They have extension cords. When it comes to the generators, uh, the most used ones in the detailing uh, industry, especially for mobile guys, is it gonna e either be the 2000 or the 3600 uh, watt versions. I use the 3500, 30, I believe it's 3500, sorry. Um, I use that one because I really like the fact that it has a push button start. It makes it really, really easy. Now, depending on what pressure washer you're using, it still may not fire it. The Active 2.3 won't fire with that. The big boys won't fire with that. For some reason, the AR630 TSS does, at least in my experience, fires up no problem. If you're using the Ryobis or anything like that, it's gonna fire, no issue. Another little miscellaneous thing is they have a bag of cotton swabs. These are just a, a big assortment of different cotton swab sizes. So you can really get into the interior detailing and get into areas that you wouldn't be able to access without this or without brushes. Now, one more thing to mention before wrapping up is the lighting section. And they have a ton of great lights, little puck lights. They even have a little handheld light that has a CRI rating of 95 plus, which is made for inspecting paint. So um, they have great options there. Um, I think regardless of what you go with, any light is better than not having more light on the surface of your paint, especially when you're doing paint corrections and things like that, or for your interior so you can visibly see things better. So go check that out. I think there's tons of good options there as well. So that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If I missed something, please comment down below or just comment down below what your favorite detailing items at your local Harbor Freight are because there's a ton of them, right? Also, let me know what you want to see there that may not be there because someone from Harbor Freight may be watching this video and maybe we can get that kind of stuff in store in the future. Again, thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Again, the link is down in the description, nordvpn.com forward slash I'm Josh V. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to like the video, make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you on the next one.